Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well. <clears throat> I'm relearning an important lesson in life, which is that um, there comes a point well before you normally realize it where if you keep coding, you're just going to make a mess. <laughs> and if you just go to bed and get up in the morning, it'll all flow. I had to uh, do the same thing last night. It was like 1 a.m. Uh, I didn't realize it was 1 a.m. at the time. And I thought, oh, this code isn't going well, and I have to be up early in the morning. <laughs> well, it's also part of a, 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 I've mentioned a couple of times I've got rules of thumb, which rule of thumb for me is always if x, the probability of y is, is much greater. Um, if, if the Golang reflect package is starting to look useful to you, the probability that you're doing it wrong is extremely high. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, that is true. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like There are places where reflect is exactly the right tool for the job. But 90% of the time that you consider the use of reflect, you were badly in the weeds. Yeah, I, I need to work out this gRPC thing um, as to why our, like, I know the connection works because I see the old ICMB responder work. Uh, the new one, I just, get, uh, I just get a connection reset over a Unix socket, and it's really annoying. So I need to work out what's going on with yeah, that. Yeah, the, the, the first thing I would go to look at is go look and see you know what you're getting back as a certificate so <clears throat> yeah and and the certificate seems to be okay i'm getting i am getting back a certificate but it is possible that um perhaps the actually no that, that couldn't that couldn't be an issue because i've i've said the same name as uh yeah, the, the next, my next step is I'm going to stick the Spire uh, uh, client into it, and then I'm going to pull the certificate and actually look at it, because I'm just getting a stream, of, uh, a stream of bytes out of it right now. And so, and as, as much as I want to say that I can read bytes off the stream, um, I, can, I cannot read certificates off the screen. <laughs> Sorry, you're, you're on mute. So funny story about that, long, long ago, maybe two decades ago, I was doing a lot of work in the Wireshark community, the sort of network analyzer, the thing that goes packets. And I had a colleague of mine um, who got paid to go take six weeks and write a dissector for the DOCSIS protocol, the thing that makes cable work. And it was because he worked in our support organization <clears throat> and his manager had become alarmed that his engineers could site read hex dumps of DOCSIS. Yeah, I used to be uh, capable of doing things like that a long ago. It's just I'm way, well out of practice. Well, and also, like, let the machines do the machine work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Reading exactly. stuff is, generally speaking, machine work. So. Yeah, this is that moment when you want to shave off a little bit more time. So you, you learn just to cut the machine out. <laughs> or you become part of the machine. Yep. Hey, hi everyone. Hey. Hey, hello. Hey.
So let me go ahead and add to the chat link to the meeting minutes so folks can add themselves to them. Uh, reminder to everyone, we are in fact being recorded. And we usually start about five after to give folks a chance to turn up. Does anyone want to share the meeting minutes so we can talk through them together or the agenda? <clears throat> Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Shall we get going, Frederick? I think that we should. So, welcome to the next uh, Network Service Mesh meeting. So, we have this meeting at every 8 a.m. Pacific on Tuesdays. Uh, please add yourself to the attendee list if you have not done so already. And we also have a uh, a meeting every other week at every um, and I, for uh, at an Asia at, at an Asia friendly time. Um, we also participate in the CNCF Telecom user group meeting, which occurs every first and third Monday at 8 a.m. and 3 a.m. Pacific. And we also participate in the CNCF Sydney Network Call, which occurs every first and third Thursday uh, at 11 a.m. Pacific. The details are in the, in the meeting notes. Um, we have a new uh, event that popped up. Uh, so I am going to be part of a panel along with um, with the a VP of, uh, of AI technology in Anthem and with the chief technologist of uh, HPE. And we're going to talk about zero trust networks and or not networks, zero trust based documentation in healthcare with a focus on, on Sp Spiffy and Spire. And so part of the reason that I am, uh, I am in that space is because I do work with healthcare organizations. And simultaneously, uh, this is uh, also on Spiffy Inspire, of which uh, NSM uses that as a, uh, as a core underlying technology. We also participate, uh, we're also going to participate in KubeCon, in CloudNativeCon Europe, which is going to be in the RAI Amsterdam assuming that the COVID-19 uh, efforts uh, are uh, sufficiently uh, far enough along. Um, and uh, hey, Ed, can you scroll down a little bit? Thank you. We also have an NSMCon at KubeCon, which is going to occur on August 13th with a larger room with um, uh, and a whole set of, uh, of uh, of speakers that you'll be able to, to listen in on. We also have uh, ONES North America Europe, which uh, is gonna be in September. And ONES Europe will be in Antwerp, Belgium on, on uh, a date to be determined. And KubeCon and CloudNativeCon North America will be on November 17th through 20th. Those dates have not been affected. Um, so in terms of announcements, uh, there is an announcement that is not listed uh, on here. So we have a new repository uh, that has been um, added by, and I apologize if we get the, the, name, uh, the name wrong, uh, by Alexander Menendez from, uh, from Red Hat, and that is the NSM operator. So uh, you can 
you can go to the MS, to the MSM dash operator repo within the network service mesh organization and feel free to help contribute there. And one of the things that we have uh, that we are in the process of doing is that for every or for uh, for a variety of different repositories, we're going to start looking at a per repository committer. And so we will be able to give people like Alex the uh, in fact, he already has commit access to the NSM operator repo, and we're going to be uh, following the same uh, the same pattern. So, for example, with the uh, the fan out plugin, uh, and that that I if I recall was uh, was Denise. And so we'll go ahead and and start uh, adding commit level uh, sorry repository level committers in, in the near future that will be able to help us. Uh, uh, that will be able to help us with uh, with each uh, with each uh, sub project within NSM. And so, congratulations to both of them, by the way, um, on on being um, sub project committers. Congratulations to Denise and Andres. Um, it's it's an epic accomplishment and much much appreciated. You both have done a lot of work in those areas. Yeah, and um, this also marks a new stage in NSM's life because uh, we have uh, we have moved beyond the uh, the mono repo, uh, and simultaneously the project is of sufficient size that uh, uh, that it doesn't it doesn't make sense to have uh, uh, so uh, uh, to have everything gazed upon by by all of the. By, by all of the top maintainers and uh, delegation is fantastic, especially when you're able to trust the people that uh, you're delegating to. And this community is fantastic for that. So with, um, with that, we also, see, do we have Ashley on the, on, do we have Ashley on the call? So we can go over the social media stuff? Yes, I am here. Cool, you have the floor. Thank you, hi everybody. A quick update with regards to Network Service Mesh's social media over the last week. As far as Twitter goes, we have gained an additional eight followers. So that's definitely the biggest jump that we've had over the last month or so. So hopefully we are back on track to have a larger following weekly. And as far as those that we are following, that's an additional two accounts and then a total of 17 tweets and retweets. Those include general core reminders, the CNCF weekly webinars, um, two that were worth noting um, this week. One of those is learn how best to use technologies like YouTube, OBS and Twitch to engage with your communities. Thought that was more relevant now than ever before. And then as Fred was saying earlier on, the um, event that he will be um, presenting and that is on the 29th zero trust based authentication in healthcare so be sure to join those if you are available other events got nsm's nsm con schedule out there again and then lf events we promoted the latest event keynote and schedule announcement announcements for events coming up as well as promoted oss which has now been switched to a virtual event at the end of june then general tweets, sorry, general retweets from open source way, um, open source headlines for the past two weeks, just some um, catch ups over there. And then from Kubernetes, the difference between API gateways and service mesh. Then with regards to LinkedIn, an additional two followers over the last week with the same original content posted there as in our Twitter account. And then the plan moving forward, some of the same general retweets, um, podcasts, blogs that come up and then start ramping up for NSM as we start getting closer to that event. So that's it on my end. Fantastic, and uh, thank you. And uh, thanks for covering me on uh, the, the time and location of that webinar. I, I realized after I uh, said it that I had not stated where you could actually go see it or when. <laughs> sure thing. And so uh, onto the main uh, onto the main agenda. So we have uh, as a topic we have the NSM operator. I don't think we have Alex on the call today so I'll have to make sure that he uh, 
he's aware of uh of what's going on uh, out of band um uh, but uh, so in so in terms of the in terms of the operator uh i think we've gone over the main uh the main uh, uh gist of that uh that it now exists it's now within it's now an, uh, an official repo uh we're in the process of going through and uh refactoring all of the uh packages so that they're appropriately named because it's written in go and the and go likes to hard code the uh package name along with where the git repo is and so we have to re finish refactoring those um another thing that needs to be focused on is we need to get the ci system uh, up and running so that that way that we're uh that we were not where we're we're testing that we were testing the operator making sure it runs through through uh cloud test or whatever test infrastructure has been set up for operators and also ensures that uh we publish the images in a way that is easily consumable uh within the uh within the docker infrastructure along with publishing the images to the docker hub so those are all tasks that uh, are currently in process and when we are complete with those tasks then we will make another announcement here so that that way we can get people to to start uh, trying out and start using it and to also be able to point people to contribute uh, into these areas um, another idea that i had as well so nsm itself from a from an operator perspective uh, is uh, is is designed in such a way so that if it fails or uh, if if you don't have to worry about startup uh, time of the, the individual components, but uh, I think one another area that will also benefit and this and we can use the NSM operator as the starting point for this is uh, eventually the life cycle of the of the uh, of the NSEs of the endpoints themselves. Will become important to look at. So if you take a look at something like, uh, let's say I have like a firewall that I bring up. That firewall will have its life cycle describes, is NSM up and running? Is my database that's keeping track of all the rules running? Um, is, uh, and is it properly, is that database properly backed up and restored? Is my, and then only then bring up my firewall and monitor my firewall's uh, performance so that I can auto-tune, auto-scale up and down and solve uh, certain types of problems in an automated way. And so part of the, um, part, one, of, one potential path that we can take the, the operator is uh, not only from managing NSM, but to have it set up so that we can have tooling in order to to manage a, a CNF or, or or other endpoints that get created that are that are within Kubernetes. And so, of course, this only applies to things that are hosted by Kubernetes. Um, if you want to try if you want to try doing something like that in, in OpenStack or uh, or with physical devices, uh, you have to follow best practices for those. But um, it's just just to give you a taste of like set of, of some of the thoughts that we have behind uh, the operator and why why the operator is uh, is an important project. Um, with that, I don't have anything else. Uh, is there anything you want to talk about, Ed? I think I'm good. Yep. I think I'm good. I've just I've been very heads down this last week writing code, so. Uh, sometimes too much, as I mentioned. I, I spent probably three hours digging myself a nice deep hole last night that didn't need to be dug. Cool. Yeah, and um, just on that note, I'm uh, currently working on getting the uh, a end-to-end uh, -end working example on the using the new SDK and uh, to to be able to walk people through that. So as that um, as that occurs, uh, once it, once we have it up and running and uh, appropriately documented then we can have a run through of that so that people can see how the sdk works um, how they can start building their own uh, nses on it how it integrates with the data plane and so on and so we'll start to do 
we'll, we'll, we'll start to do uh, information sharing uh, efforts so that uh, people are aware of, of what and, and how it works. Well, uh, is, if, is there any other items that anyone wants to talk about? Otherwise, we will yield back time. Okay, so please go and register for the webinar. Please join us. Please invite all your uh, uh, please invite all your friends who you think will be interested in this uh, in this topic. And uh, with that, thank you everyone for your time. You all have a wonderful day, and we will see you all at the same time next week. Cool. Thank you. Bye.